Canada has this bizarre mixture of jingoism and self-hatred, which I think comes from an overabundance of pride, and I mean pride in all of its different senses. There is a deep self-hatred, but also a deep um, innate superiority. If you ever see how Canadians look at Americans, they basically view them as being subhuman. And in fact, if you in more recent years, as it's kind of shifted from a focus on ethnicity and race to basically being solely about uh, sexual orientation, you're increasingly seeing Canadians sneering at Saudi Arabians and Indians and the Chinese and the Japanese uh, for not kind of embracing the same values that we supposedly hold. So like Japan is evil because they don't have immigration, they don't have gay marriage. Saudi Arabia is a patriarchal society, so it's evil because of that. And they'll just go through and sneer at pretty much everybody else. And to try to maintain this, and to try to maintain this sense of superiority, we get into a face off with these countries to how much we can deny our own national self-interest, to how much we can shit on our own citizens and actively damage their lives in the favor of it to, to prove how tolerant and diverse we are. Like the example of this obviously in Europe was like Rotherham in which the police, because they didn't want to appear racist, allowed migrant gangs to like rape hundreds of children. But Canada is pretty close to that. And, and this is a good example of this. And this shows just how unserious we are morally as a country. So we have the um, coronavirus breaking out. It's it's a global health emergency. The UN, the, the WHO has declared that. If we look at what the CBC is putting up articles about, though, um, there we, we have an, at least one article a day, multiple articles a day about how the corona being worried about the coronavirus is a form of racism because we're such a tolerant country. We want to get the coronavirus. We want to go and find a Chinese person from Wuhan who's sick and hug them and hug them until we get the coronavirus. It's kind of like when in Toronto we had a, and this is not a joke, this actually happened, a restaurant that opened where all the staff were HIV positive and people were like, oh, I want to go eat there because it's dispelling the myth that HIV can be transmitted. Now, I know scientifically, I, I, I don't know, understand exactly how it works, but regardless of whether or not there's actually a risk of people getting infected, it just sends a really bad sign. It, it, it shows that we're placing the desire to look good and to stick it to other people above our own sense of self-preservation. And that is profoundly scary. And that is a situation you don't want your government to be in. So like we have Chinese Canadians, health officials taking stand, Chinese Canadians speak out against racism. So we have 30th, 28th, 29th, 26th, 28th. And this is our national, this is what your tax dollars pay for if you're Canadian. Uh, misinformation can spread like the disease. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So Chinese Canadians, health officials take stand against unfair stigmatization during corona outbreak. Um, actually, there's a there's a good one here. Uh, let's see here. Um, Toronto Mayor John Tory has also denounced the act of shunning Chinese Canadians or avoiding their businesses, calling it immoral and harmful. Well, it's it's like so you have a virus that comes from a certain country, and that country was recently visited by a lot of people who are a minority in your country. And they've, they've been there and they've come back. And even if the people who own the stores didn't go there, they're frequently visited by other Chinese people, many of whom probably did go there. So, I mean, if there's a place other than like the obvious places like an airport or a subway or something where the virus is going to get transmitted, that's the most likely place. Is places frequented by recent immigrants who probably went back to Ch went back to China during Lunar New Year and are the most likely carriers of the plague. And this person doesn't even know like th what they're saying. They're saying Southeast Asian. Uh, China's not Southeast Asia. China's East Asia. Wh whatever. They they can't even get it right. But like so basically like what they're saying here is um with the advice of healthcare. Well, the healthcare professionals are full of shit. <laughs> 
if if they're telling you don't don't avoid places where the people who have the virus likely are like should we all just go to like wuhan and like hug people and it's i'm sure people are going to say well argent the actual chances of you getting it from a chinese grocery store are very small well okay then but it's it's not an irrational concern to have i mean if they're they're gonna like okay you guys should try to avoid airplanes you should try to avoid uh subways what about chinese groceries no you go to those Actually, go to those over the other grocery stores. So let's just read through this bullshit. Um, Amid growing fears around the coronavirus outbreak, Chinese Canadians and public health officials in Toronto say more must be done to avoid a recurrence of the racism and xenophobia experienced in the 2003 SARS outbreak. I mean, that's what it's about. It's... um. It's, it's not about containing the virus. It's not about preventing human suffering. It's about showing how tolerant we are. Toronto Mayor John Tory medical... Okay, um, we're among those who address these concerns at a news uh, conference Wednesday. Amy Go, interim president of whatever, the National Council for... Oh, the Chinese-Canadian National Council for Social Justice. And this is something I really get sick of. The people are like, oh, East Asians are based. They're conservative. No, they will they will do whatever it takes to get what they want. And I, I can't really blame them for that. But they'll, like, China, let's be honest, and Japan are exceedingly racist countries. Like, actually racist countries. Um, and they, they treat minorities in their countries like dirt. In some cases, they've exterminated them. I mean, look what the Chinese did to the Manchu. I'm sorry, the Han Chinese did to the Manchu and what they're doing to the Uyghurs and what they did to the Tibetans. So they'll do that. They'll exterminate those people, but they'll also cry about racism against China. Like, they'll cry crocodile tears. And if Westerners are dumb enough to believe it, and it's dumb enough to, and we're dumb enough to let it work, then in the words of the former President George W. Bush, Fool you once, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, we can't get fooled again. Uh, we are being singled out. We are being stigmatized because of the coronavirus. Well, because like, and this is the anti-science aspect of this. It's like, okay, so someone who came here, I'm not even going to pick like a Western country. Someone who came here from Iran is as likely to carry the coronavirus as someone who came here from Wuhan is is basically what she's saying here um we stand with them as this time as we always do and we always will um there's no examples here keep that in mind nobody said this um I, I don't see a single example here uh, we know that inaccurate information, misinformation continues to spread, and this is creating unnecessary stigma against members of our community. This is deeply concerning and is uh, truly disappointing. Are there any um, examples of this? No, there's no examples of this. Uh, let's see here. Are there examples of the Chinese digitally removing black people from Star Wars movie posters? Because... They don't like them in China? Yes, there is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Councillor Christian Wong Tam pointed to discrimination against Chinese Canadians during 2003 SARS outbreak as a chapter in Ch Toronto history to avoid repeating. Uh, she recalls Chinese Canadians being shunned to businesses, uh, losing customers due to unfounded fears. Once again, it's not going to go there. Uh, she said that the phenomenon may represent a greater risk than the illness itself. Yes. Yes, that is fucking amazing. That shows what their priorities are. So let's say someone in Canada dies. Let's say at least one person dies. What she is saying here, and I think this is not me extrapolating, I think this is what she's saying, is it's worse if some people say some mean things about Chinese Canadians than if a single person actually dies from the illness. And I'm sure she'd hate maintain this position if, like, thousands of people died. I, I don't even know who this woman is, but she sounds like some sort of sociopath, to be honest. Um, then again, it's just pride. It's That's how narcissistic these people are. Is, to them, human life is worth that little compared with feeling good about themselves. And it's, it's profoundly disturbing. Toronto Public Health. Wash your hands. Uh, not touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Things don't 
things that don't discrimination misinformation wow that's that's great uh let's see here around nine thousand people recently signed a petition demanding the school board in new york region ban students from school for 17 days if their families had recently visited china the suburban of district of north Ont of ontario has a large chinese population uh new york region said Warn parents of demonstrating inadvertent racism by making assumptions about certain students and their families. See, that's that's what it is. If you think that people who visited the area where the disease took out uh, came out are more likely to have be carriers of the disease, as like I said, like let's take someone from Nigeria. A person from Nigeria is as likely, according to these people, to have the coronavirus as someone from Wuhan. Uh, let's see. Well, that's, that's fucking, that's amazing. Like, oh, then the PM, this fucking douche monkey's coming out and saying it. He's such a fucking schmuck. There's no place in our country for discrimination driven by fear or misinformation, which is information. That's not something Canadians will ever stand for. Well, I also love this. Like, I stand for it. I, I, I think people are justified in being worried about people who recently visited the um, uh, zone. I, I don't know what else to say. This is what my country's like. This is our fucking public broadcaster. This is what my tax dollars are going to pay for. This is garbage. So, I don't know what else to say. Talk to you guys later, I guess. If I don't get 